it is finally here. Now, I've been waiting for this package for literally like two months, all right? Because this thing has been, it's kept me delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. Now, you, got, you know, you guys might wonder what this is. This is actually my new mouse that I'm gonna unbox right now. All right, so I managed to open it. It was so hard to do it with one hand, so I had to do it with both hands. But apparently you can just slide the thing from here. We can just open this. This beauty right here, which is the Logitech G Pro Super Light. Now, I'm gonna unbox it, see how it looks like. Wait, I might actually do this with one hand now. I've been waiting two months for you, baby. Now, I just noticed in order to open it, I actually did order it white. I just hope I didn't get, you know, the, <laughs> the wrong color. I literally wanted a white one. Now I get a black one. Like, I don't. I hope not, I hope it's not black. All right, so you have to like slide this thing up. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, dude. Dude, this is so hard to do with one hand. Literally, I don't know how every unbox people can actually unbox. Okay, let me see. Whew. I actually got it black. <laughs> dude, no, they actually got it wrong. They actually got the wrong color. I mean, here, let me just check it out. Oh my, mate, no way. What is this? It's literally nothing. I'm shocked, I'm actually shocked. Like how the hell did they manage to make it, a mouse weight this, like 63 grams, but I've heard it weighs a little bit less than that. Now this is insane. Like it's, I feel like it's just empty. Like it has nothing in it. All right, scroll wheel is it's nice though. Really nice. But, hello? Wow, this is actually insane. Now, I am gonna do a test run on it, just to see what a difference, the comparison between this one and the original mouse that I have right now with the Logitech G Pro Wired, which is this baby right here. When well, you can't really see it, black with my mouse pad but this mouse has been so loyal to me for like years now and this weights around like 83 I think maybe 86 this is impressive like it feels like it's just this like the, sh the mouse like it's feel like it's a toy now I know they removed the RBG for it but really the RBG really doesn't do a lot I don't feel like it, it, it adds sure it looks fancy but I feel like if you're competitive and just and want a wireless mouse that really doesn't die that quick this was a worthy sacrifice removing the rbg is a worthy sacrifice all right so here comes a little bit of gameplay of me playing with this beast
stop them. Alright people, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now the mouth is very responsive. I really like the wireless stuff. The mouth weights around 60 grams. And for me who's been using a wide mouse, weights around 83 grams. Dropping that 20 grams really made a difference. Because I was so used to the weight to help me keep the aim st stable. Now that I have to completely rely on my wrist, I'm not kind of used to that feeling yet. If you practice enough on games, you probably will get used to this mouse pretty quickly. It is such an amazing mouse. I really was surprised. I thought people overreacted when it came to the weight, but it's super light. You actually feel like it's a toy, like there's nothing in it, you know? The battery life is amazing. I've read an article dropping that RGB actually increased the battery life from 50% to 70%. When I tested the mouse, it had around 52%. I was playing around with it for like three, three and a half hours, and it dropped down to like 48. Like I said earlier, it was a worthy sacrifice to actually remove the RGB. Now, I've loved Logitech. I've been a really long fan of them. I've been using all of their products for a long time. Now that I finally get to use one of the latest ones, it really makes me happy. Now, you're probably wondering, is the mouse worth the price? To be completely honest with you, yes. Because it has good quality, it has longer battery, it weights less, the building quality is still very good. If you compare it to the G Pro, yeah, it should be a little bit more expensive because of the battery life and the new hero sense. I hope you guys enjoyed the hand cam and I'll see you in the next one. Yep.